While a cruise ship has a culture of its own, there are still lines that you do not cross. Most of these should be obvious, but they still happen. There are ways to go too far on a cruise ship that will get you kicked off at the next port, or banned from the cruise line. Once again, most of these cases are common sense in why they are not acceptable, but people still do them. Here are six ways people have gotten kicked off of a cruise ship or banned from a cruise line. Starting off with fishing from your balcony. In April of 2023, a viral TikTok video surfaced of a guest pulling up a fishing line with a fish attached at the bottom and eventually got the fish onto his balcony on board an unknown carnival ship. Even outside of the travel niche, it was a bit of a deal. Eventually, Carnival saw this, identified the couple, and banned them for life. Cruise Hive did an interesting breakdown of all the rules that they broke, and I left a link to that article which includes the video in the sources section of the description. Now this item is one on the list where the passenger didn't really do anything absurd. In 2023, a passenger was not allowed to board their Carnival ship after they were discovered to have CBD gummies to help with their sleep and was given a lifetime ban. Carnival states in their policy on their website saying that while medicinal gummies are legal in the U.S., they are not in some of Carnival's port stops. When a passenger tries to bring produce on board, often it gets confiscated along with actually dangerous stuff like irons. It's one thing to confiscate them, but a lifetime ban for gummies is way too much. This next one is a bit complicated, but it is giving indication that you are going to harm yourself. In 2015, aboard a Royal Caribbean ship, a passenger called the reception desk of the ship because she was feeling seasick and asked if she could change her room to an area not as sensitive to the movement. Reportedly in the conversation, the receptionist had mentioned something about a medical emergency where the passenger replied that there may be one tomorrow sarcastically implying that she would harm herself if she didn't get the new cabin. She was able to get one after a crew was called to her cabin to escort her to one with no balcony and had been cleared of anything sharp. To make matters worse, a security member had to stand guard outside of her room. After being declared mentally fit to travel, she was disembarked with no refund but was given a computer to book her means back home. After filing a lawsuit for damages, the court ruled against her. While she claimed to be using sarcasm, the cruise line cannot take that chance. If something had happened to her, it would have been horrible if Royal Caribbean knew and did nothing. You cannot take that chance. Now for one that is undisputably a banable offense, is taking photos whilst on the balcony railing. On Allure of the Seas, in October of 2019, a passenger observed from their balcony someone sitting on their own balcony railing. The cabin number was easily identifiable because it is on what we call the bump out, and the passenger was forced to debark the next port stop in Jamaica along with her fellow traveler. The next way to get kicked off of a cruise ship is to jump off intentionally. On board Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas, while the ship was in port in Nassau, a guest was being filmed by his friends before he intentionally jumped off of his balcony. The passenger has since said that they were intoxicated during the incident and the impact of the water was so uncomfortable that he could barely walk for three days. Though, he would need to do a bit more walking because after being picked out of the water by a small boat, security informed him that he and his friends were being kicked off. Royal Caribbean was livid and even wanted to take legal action. On a side note, he would had to have had his card scanned to get back on board, where security would notice that it had never gotten scanned to get off. He has since been banned for life. Now, finally, the craziest way to get kicked off a cruise ship, and one that will likely never be matched, was the story of a passenger on the Holland America MS Rhindam. In 2010, the ship was heading from Mexico to Tampa at 18 knots. One passenger had gotten beyond carried away, as they started drinking at their 9 p.m. dinner time when they had four glasses of wine. Back in his stateroom, he had a glass of vodka and took Ambien, a drug used for sleep. Around two hours later, he made his way to the casino and was bought a martini by a passenger. He must have liked it because he got four more single martinis and one double martini. At this point, the bar was closing, so he ordered three more double martinis, but it wasn't enough. 
With the bar now closed, he got into a cabinet with a bottle of Grey Goose vodka and drank one quarter of it. He then somehow made his way into a restricted area of the ship without being stopped and saw the ship's anchor system, which happened to be similar to the one on his yacht, so he knew how to operate it. At around 5 in the morning, the man dropped the anchor. The ship slowed down so much that the security camera footage moved from the sudden stop. The ship was not damaged, but everyone was called to their muster stations to make sure they were unharmed. The man was arrested, and the FBI was involved. Over a year later, he was sentenced to a $7,500 fine and two months in prison, along with two months of home confinement and alcohol abuse courses. Fortunately, there has not been an incident remotely similar to this since. Those are the six craziest ways a passenger has been kicked off of a cruise ship. If you know of any incidents I didn't cover, leave them in the comments below, along with any other videos you would like to see. Thank you guys for watching, this is Embarkation Day, and smooth sailing ahead.